Wilk's Dessert Stories. Ice Cream. Hi there. Welcome to Wilk's Dessert Story. Tell me, what dessert do you crave most on a hot summer's day? Hmm, you may think of several, but for me, the answer is always ice cream. So have you ever wondered how this cold, creamy concoction was created? Mmm. Today, I will tell you the story of ice cream. <laughs> the very first ice cream was made in China. 3,000 years ago, Chinese people made a special dessert by adding spices and fruits to cold, shaved ice. But this dessert was closer to a sorbet than an ice cream. The dessert was carried by Arab merchants who traveled to ancient Persia. It continued to spread to nearby countries, Greece and Rome. It is said that Greece's Alexander the Great and Roman Emperor Nero enjoyed mixing honey and fruits with snow brought from the Alps. In the 13th century Chinese Yuan Dynasty, ice cream made from ice and milk made its first appearance. During this time, the famous explorer Marco Polo was in China. Huh? He saw people eating a food he'd never seen before. What is that? Ah, it's a popular snack these days in our Yuan Dynasty. It's cooling and delicious. Lately, it's all I eat. <laughs> Could I try a little bite? Of course you can. Ah. Mm. Delicioso. The cold, creamy sweetness of it melts in my mouth. I feel like I'm running through a field of pure white snow that's a dripping with honey. How do you make this a magic treat? First, you start by grinding the ice. Then you add some fruits and spices. And top it off with milk. Marco Polo brought the ice cream recipe back to Italy with him. And that ice cream recipe that he carried from China was in turn brought to France by the Italian princess Catherine de Medici when she married King Henry II. Ice cream was spread all across Europe, and it also crossed the sea to get to England. There, it reached the hands of Gerald Tassane, the royal chef of King Charles. That's when it became the ice cream we know today. The first published ice cream recipe was in Aunt Mary Eels' cookbook in 1718 England. In 1744, the word ice cream was listed in the Oxford English Dictionary for the first time. But because ice cream melted so easily, <laughs> it was a dessert that only the very wealthy could enjoy. <sighs> hmm, might there be a way for everyone to be able to enjoy ice cream? Extra, extra! Jacob hmm. Parkins has invented the refrigerator! Huh? Then one day, Jacob Fussell read an article about the invention of the refrigerator. That's it. I can keep the ice cream cold in the refrigerator. This way, I'll be able to sell ice cream to a lot of people. Once Jacob Fussell came up with the idea to store ice cream in the refrigerator, he built an ice cream factory. Jacob Fussell's ice cream spread all across the world. That's how all of us got to enjoy delicious, cool ice cream in the hot summertime. Ice cream has a history dating back from ancient China to the present. It was created and developed thanks to the efforts of many people. How about we all enjoy some ice cream today and remember all those people's hard work? Well, that's the end of today's dessert story. See you next time! Wilkes Dessert Stories Pretzel Hello there! It's time for Wilkes Dessert Story! In this episode, we saw the brave heroics of Patrol Pretzel. So friends, let's learn the origin story of the pretzel. The pretzel was first created in a German monastery in the 7th century. The monk in the monastery had a huge problem on his hands. The children wouldn't memorize church prayers and were often very rowdy during sermons. Look, kids, if you refuse to memorize your prayers now, you won't go to heaven later! Huh. <laughs> Learning prayers isn't any fun. That's right. Saying our prayers won't fill our bellies with bread or meat. Bread or meat? I'm so hungry, I can't <laughs> even get the words out. I'd rather find something to eat now than go to heaven. Get out of here, you ungrateful brats! The fuming monk stomped and stamped around the monastery to calm himself down. 
Little brats. All they do is whine, whine, whine. I've done um, it! <laughs> I made some bread out of oh, dirt. Looks tasty. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Maybe this loaf of dirt will fill our empty bellies. <laughs> the monk witnessed the children eat dirt bread because they were so hungry and desperate. Back then, many people in Europe starved to death simply because there wasn't enough food to go around. Children, <gasps> don't eat that dirt loaf! Come on now, spit it out! <laughs> you can't eat just anything because you're hungry. But my <laughs> stomach hurts so bad. What he said! Do you want us to starve to death? Oh. The monk was thunderstruck by what the children told him. There must be a way. That's it! I think it's wrong to force the children to memorize their prayers when they're starving. We need some kind of reward to help them want to learn their prayers. And so, I propose giving them some bread if they commit each prayer to memory. What a great idea! I think it's splendid. I quite agree. I volunteer to make the bread. <clears throat> the monks all decided to give the children bread if they can memorize each one of their prayers. <laughs> <laughs> they shaped the bread to look just like hands at prayer. And that's how the pretzel was created. The name pretzel comes from the Latin word brachiatellum, meaning little praying arm. Children, attention, I have an announcement. <laughs> I will give this special bread to anyone who memorizes their prayers. Special bread? <gasps> wow, looks tasty. Me, oh, me, me. I'm all my prayers. All of the children learned all of the prayers. <gasps> wow, well, oh. thank you. Thanks so much. And they all ate delicious pretzels together. In the end, the monk was both happy and relieved that the children learned their prayers and didn't go hungry after all. This is the origin story behind the pretzel we enjoy today. Wasn't it something special? When you try to understand where someone's coming from, instead of getting upset with them, things turn out better for everyone. And don't forget, if you work together, you can make something special that stands the test of time. Well, that's all for today's special dessert story. See you next time!